Hey everybody, my name is Will. Sole survivor from the Camp Crystal Lake reunion this past weekend in Hunt Valley, Maryland. Uh, Monster Mania Con 18. Uh, well, maybe I wasn't the uh, sole survivor at the convention, uh, but it, it was one hell of a weekend. Had a great time. Met a lot of people from my all-time favorite franchise, Friday the 13th. Uh, I want to show you today uh, some of the pickups that I got from the convention, as well as the memorabilia that I took with me to get signed by the actors, along with uh, 8x10s that I also had got signed by the actors, and little stories that they told me while signing, uh, some neat little things for entertainment purposes, and questions that I had for them that uh, uh, I've been wondering for years about since I was a kid watching these movies and I finally had answered <laughs> and I'll share some of that with you. Uh, this is probably going to be a, a two or three part uh, video. I have about 30 minutes of footage to show you from the convention as well. Uh, also look forward to future videos of other franchises that are my favorites. Nightmare on Elm Street and also one of my all-time favorites, Halloween. So stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I wanted to first start off by showing you the actual shirt that I wore to the convention. I pretty much wore this a part of the day on Friday and uh, part of the, and all of the day on Saturday. Um, I actually designed this shirt myself just for the convention only. Um, got this printed for me at uberprints.com. And uh, let's see if you get a close up of it here. Uh, this image I actually got from a website I actually bought my uh, Jason mask from, my Freddy vs. Jason mask. Uh, the site is actually called uh, fiberglassmask.com and I'll show you that mask in a minute. Uh, welcome to Camp Blood. You can see the part two on the side there. And Mrs. Voorhees' head. And if we turn it around on the back, I have the Camp Crystal Lake sign lit up and uh, Jason from Part 7 coming up out of the lake. Uh, when I was getting uh, an autograph from Kane Hodder, he really liked this. <laughs> he thought the effect was pretty neat. Uh, I also wanted to show you, if you look real closely, that glint in Jason's eye. That's actually that white silhouette of him in uh, Part 6, right before he slashes the eye. That's his, they had that uh, intro. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing to add in there. But uh, that's what I wore all weekend. While we're on the uh, subject of apparel, I also wanted to show you my daily wallet <laughs> I use every single day. Uh, this is my Friday the 13th wallet that I, uh, yeah, like I said, pretty much take with me everywhere. Uh, I probably got this about a couple years ago. Uh, Richard Brooker. He really loved this. <laughs> uh, when I pulled out to pay him for the autographs, uh, he actually wanted to hold it in the picture he took with me. And I'll show you that picture in a second. Um, moving right along. Here is my Friday the 13th poster uh, that was signed by Adrienne King. She had these at her table. Um, I actually saw this on a lot of uh, YouTubers uh, videos some of the people I subscribe to actually seen this poster and when I saw it on her uh, signing table I absolutely had to have it uh, it's actually a limited edition only 1300 of these are made uh, what's really neat is when she signs these is she actually puts the number at the bottom she hand writes the number in mine's eight I believe it's 814, 8, uh, 817 I think it says, of 1300. And she signed it to Will. They're all dead. One of my favorite lines. Adrian King, Soul Survivor. Beautiful signature she has. Absolutely love her. Uh, she's a really great person. She's telling me all about her Crystal Lake wines. And she actually had uh, some of the bottles there. Uh, that were not for sale, unfortunately, because I was going to buy them. But I do plan on going on her website and purchasing them there. She's also an artist in real life, and I couldn't believe that, because that's how she's portrayed in the movie. It's fantastic. 
There's the original notes. Mr. Cunningham's original notes from the Adrian King, Betsy Palmer fight scene at the end of the movie of part one. Absolutely amazing. Love this piece. And just to show that it actually is an original, so people don't copy it, she always stamps her certificate of authenticity. Artistry by Adrian King. On the back of every poster that she signs. And next up, we have the mask I was telling you about earlier. The uh, mask that I bought from fiberglassmask.com. Uh, this mask is the real deal. <laughs> it's definitely not a cheap imitation. It is very has a pretty thick gauge, I must say. Uh, not much flex at all in this mask. Uh, each one is actually uh, inside each mask. It's signed fiberglassmask.com and has a black finish on the inside. It actually helps with the under uh, the uh, under mask that you would wear. It doesn't stick to it, which is really nice. But uh, this was my Freddy vs. Jason mask that I got from Fiberglass Masks. And uh, you can see here that I had Kane Hodder sign that. He was the first one I went to. I'm kind of disappointed that he signed it in black. Kane was a really cool guy. Uh, he messed around a lot. Uh, he actually was, uh, I don't know, talking to my sister's boyfriend or something. And uh, I don't know exactly what was said, but uh, he threw like a pop, Kane Hodder threw like a pop bottle uh, cap at my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know exactly what went down there, but uh, apparently Kane said he felt like an asshole about it, so he gave uh, he gave my sister's boyfriend a free autograph. So that was kind of nice one. <laughs> also on the side here we have two Will, Steve Dash, the real Jason, uh, real neat guy. Uh, he kind of likes to kid a lot around a lot too, but he does it kind of like in a serious way, so you kind of don't know if he's kidding or not. But uh, <laughs> he's a really great guy. One of my favorite Jasons. Part 2 is my absolute favorite. And on the side here, brilliant signature, Richard Brooker from Part 3. Which I love that. I wish they all would have used that silver marker, but that's alright. Next up here is my Friday the 13th, 25th anniversary box set that uh, I had taken to the, invention to the uh, convention to get signed. And uh, all the Part 2 actors absolutely love this. Thought it was so cool. Um, let me show you some of the signatures here. One of my favorite actors, Bill Randolph. Saying his famous uh, quote, asshole, this is my truck. <laughs> I uh, actually was at the part two Q&A uh, where I stood up and asked him to actually say this quote. And he did it in character. It sounded exactly like he did in part two. Fantastic. Absolutely love him. <laughs> Next up here is uh, Mother is Proud, Amy Steele, who played Ginny. She thought this was really neat too. Uh, you'll see in some of the videos that I show you in the uh, next few movies, they're just actually looking at it for a while because they just really think this is a neat diorama. <laughs> Amy Steele is everything I thought she'd be. She's a cool girl. And my all-time favorite right here, Lauren Marie Taylor, who played Vicky. My Cabin or Yours, from their famous scene with uh, Tom McBride, where they're playing with uh, those electronic games and that was just fantastic uh, one of my favorite actors uh, I actually got a few autographs from her because I just had to keep going back to her I absolutely love her <laughs> oh and uh, speaking of her if anybody out there knows of a fan website or some kind of uh, anything that has to do with Lauren Marie Taylor let me know. Uh, post uh, any comments because I'd, I'd really like to find one because I'm having no luck finding a fan website or networking or site of any kind that has to do with Lord Marie. So let me know. 
Also, on the side here is to Will. Jason's out there, John Fury. Another really cool guy. Got a picture with me in the middle between him and Amy Steele. It just blew me away. It's fantastic. Uh, they're my favorite couple from the Friday the 13th franchise, I'd have to say. <laughs> uh, sadly, I did not get Marta Kober or Russell Todd because they were no-shows to the convention. But uh, hopefully they will be at future conventions and I can meet them there and get their signatures on this as well.